Here we go guys, so this is going to be round two. Um, everything's cleaned down now, and um, here I got a couple Q-tips. Um, got a napkin here, just for wiping down and uh, using the Q-tips for the grease. Uh, for lubing my knives, I am going to be using uh, Chris Reeves grease. So and it's, uh, I bought this for $15 over at Plaza Cutlery in California here. Um, great place, and uh, really happy that they carry this because it's going to cost you about $24 from Chris Reeve online. The cheapest you can probably find this stuff on the aftermarket is about 20 so it is fairly expensive stuff. Um, in shop there at Plaza Cutlery, it's only 15 bucks. Uh, you know, about 17 just under 18 after tax. And um, pretty cool. So uh, this will be my first time using this stuff. And it uh, comes in this thick um, plastic bag, Ziploc, uh, and a small syringe here. Looks like this. Does come with a card. Um, Cristo Lube Fluorinated Grease. Uh, uh, fluorinated grease can be used on all high friction areas of the folding knives and guns, i.e. pivot bearings, locking bars, and slides. Crystal lube is especially effective on titanium to titanium or titanium to steel. Little goes a long way, so use sparingly. That's what it says. And uh, the uh, net weight of this is 5 grams. It does have warning on the back. Um, could cause skin and eye irritation. Contact with hot surfaces can cause fumes. Can get you sick. So, uh, stuff you gotta be kind of careful with. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nifty. Uh, comes in the convenience of the syringe here. Don't know quite how it works, so we're gonna find that out together. I think I can just go straight ahead and push down on this to get it going. Um, anyhow, I, I do have a couple cute tips here to help smear it around where needed. Um, first, I'm gonna be putting it around the blade tang here. And uh, I'm going to end up be putting some on the lock bar here and also some on the blade tang itself. So uh, let's get these slabs out of the way a little bit here. And get the napkin over here. So we'll be laying down some of this, see how it goes. You can see here in the syringe, it's pushing through. Just a little bit there. I'm going to use the Q-tip to kind of smear it around. It does say to use sparingly and that it goes a long way and I definitely believe that. So I'm going to just get a Q-tip smear it around all nice. Get some on the blade tang here. Also some on the other side. Probably put a little bit more on the side here. Syringe that's very convenient. Liking that. Very much so. Maybe a wee bit more on this side here. just like a little circle all the way around very little and just use a q-tip here or I'm, I'm using a q-tip don't know if you need to but prefer to smear it all the way around so the it gets all around the pivot area Let's see. and also make sure you get some on the blade tang there you want some down here where the lock bar engages And um, yeah, so then just gonna be taking the washer here, placing it over, and a small one, vice versa, opposite side. And with that grease, it's gonna be kind of sticking on there. So as you can see, the washers are kind of sticking on, and um, I'm gonna be taking that little pivot pin and placing that back in the middle there. Oops. You know what? I think I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I grabbed the wrong one there. It goes back. <clears throat> Once again, make sure the you got to make sure the washers are lined up perfectly there. 
we'll see all the way through opposite sides and it is indeed this one that I wanted make sure that pops up in lines nice uh, the um, this will protrude a little bit on both sides so it's going to help keep your uh, washers stood in so once you have uh, both washers on both sides kind of good to go I'm just going to lay that down and then I'm just going to put a little bit on the top of the lock bar here just a wee little dab put a slab here just over the top says to use this stuff on all friction areas so anywhere where the blade's going to be sliding or the blade's going to be coming in contact it's good to rub a little bit and uh, I'm just going to make a quick note here I don't know if you're going to be able to quite see let me bring some light over you see that the there's some discoloration on the titanium handle lock bar side um, they actually heat treat those tips of the lock bar um, for a longer life I believe so that's just kind of cool how they do that, heat, treat, heat treating the tip of the lock bar there. And you kind of see it's a little bit different discoloration. You can see the ball bearing, um, which keeps uh, the blade inside once it's closed for retention. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the grease as far as that goes. Uh, you're just going to want to be, like I said, putting grease all around um, the tang of the knife on the back there, where each side of where the washers are going. You're going to want to put grease and then washers over and then um, also over on the top of the lock bar there. Um, I think you could put grease on the outside of these as well. Um, I don't think it's necessary, so I'm not going to. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and now I'm going to be putting the knife together. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and shoot this over to video three for you guys. All right, we'll see you.